Welcome to our curation of the Occupy Chicago um, movement. What I'll do is I'll take you through a couple of the features of the interactive timeline and then um, I hope that you'll click on the link and that you'll actually interact with it yourself because it's kind of rich and there's a lot of features there. The first thing you see is our welcome screen and once you get beyond that you'll see these colored dots. Each of our contributors that would be our reporters and we also have a stream that um, it presents tweets um, from the hashtag Occupy Chicago um, but most of these are from either myself or the students these would be the entries and they're above the dates that they occur and you can see the gray box over here is, helps us navigate this tells us there was a lot of activity around December 1st that's one of the days we have class so students were likely to post things around class on those days but as you go through the timeline you can find other times when there were um, incidents happening and we started um, in September we started a few days after the Occupy movement started and we have entries consisting of um, the discussions of what their assignment was and those are connected to their mobile blogs and then we have also assignments um, I mean we have entries we talk about arrests you can go play videos in there and um, we've included things like a link to the to a Pew survey so if you click here you link out at any given time you can navigate here as I was doing by clicking on the particular stories and then you can always find out more of what was happening on the stories so we invite you to join us and look at our work uh, the f doing the photos was interesting because what we had wanted to do was pinpoint this, the photos pretty much where they occurred and um, the Occupy Chicago area was maybe a two or four block area what we found was that the precision of the geotags didn't let us do that. We could we could use um, instead we used Panoramio and were able to put um, a whole a, you know a selection of photos around an area, but it was harder to put those photos um, on particular buildings. We'll have to use augmented reality for that the next time. So we invite you to browse through our timeline. Let us know, tell us what you think of it, see what we've said, and um, it was an interesting experiment, and I think we'll do more non-linear narrative reporting using tools like this. Thank you very much.